Righto, listening. Girls, I want you to turn your computers around. This will be pretty quick, so you've got to pay attention. So I'm going to show you how to make a Flash logo. When you make a Flash logo, you're going to apply you're going to apply a texture to it, a material to it, so it looks like it's made out of something. Righto. So, you're going to make a new design. What should we do to make the Flash logo? A circle. circle yeah, we're going to do a circle first. So, Emily. Are you a... All right, make a circle. Create a new sketch. Once you click create a sketch, You've got to select a face to draw on. So I'm going to go here. I right, notice how my tools change once I make a once I make a sketch. I'm going to click click the circle, and I want to make sure I start in the middle. I start in the middle just because I know uh, where the center of the circle will be. All right, two circles. Then I'm going to go finish sketch. Okay, that's not too amazing, is it? Okay, two circles, finish sketch. I'm going to select this outside circle. Actually, I'm going to select both to begin with. Outside circle. Okay, and I want you to pay attention to this area as well. All right, no, pay attention to the eyes and things. All right, select both circles. I'm going to extrude. I'm going to make it three high. Click OK. So notice that now a body's appeared. All right, and if I expand the bodies, this is my first body. If I expand the sketches, that circle, you can see the original circle by expanding sketches and going to sketch number one. All right, so I've got a body that's flat. I want to put a rim on the outside of the logo. So I'm going to go uh, select the outside. So I've got to expand the sketches and turn the eye on. I hide the body so I can select the thing underneath. Now I'm going to expand, I'm going to give this depth by going extrude. And instead of three, I might go six. All right. I've got an option to go new body, cut, or join. If it's red, it's cutting out of the thing that's there. I want to make a new body. I want to make a new body because I need to apply different materials to the inside and the outside. If it was joined, it would be one body. Right. A circle that we can draw our lightning bolt in. Yep. Righto. Now, I'm going to turn the bodies off. I want to turn my original sketch on so I can see what was there. Create a new sketch. Click on the same face as the circle. All right, lightning bolts are luckily pretty easy to draw. I'm going to draw this line to guide me. Now, okay, that line just goes from one side to the other, and it's just to guide me. I'm going to go... Bang, bang. Bang. I think I did that wrong. Hold on. Yeah. Bang. Bang. Yeah, that was right. No. Hey, oh, I gotta fix that up a little bit. All right, that looks a bit wonky, doesn't it? Really Only a little. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. Hey, that's not nice. It's true. So I can, I can move these little dots around to make it look slightly better. I think it's. No, nah, she'll be right. 
All right, there we go. So I'm going to make sure it's in the inside there. Okay. I've got my lightning bolts. I go finish sketch. Okay, now I want to select the lightning bolt. I'm going to make it, give it height. So the inside of the circle was three. The outside of the circle was six. I'm going to make this nine. Okay. And now if I turn my bodies back on. That actually looks like the Alex Shiny. Right, so there is a very quick flash logo. What do I have to do to make it look like it's actually flashed? Oh, red and text. A for appearance. No, red and yellow. Yeah, press A for appearance. I could go yellow plastic if I wanted. That's what the color is. It doesn't look too bad, actually. Yeah. But I want to be fancier. So I've got metal. Inside metal, I could go polished brass might look quite good. Yeah. What about liquid? No, I think the brass is better. All right, and then... No, I think... This is your one. Satin. Poor Mr. Doherty. <laughs> Alright, here's the final thing I'm going to do to make it look a little bit better. I've got my textures on it. This is just something to add a little bit of uh, flair to your design. I'm going to add a bevel. Oh, a bevel. I love myself a good bevel. So bevel means, I, I mean a, a fillet actually. A fillet means it's going to have like a smooth edge instead of a sharp edge. So you type S to search things. Fillet. All right, so there's there's a cool looking logo. One last thing you can do is this. Here's your design. Here's your design window. If you go from design, you can go to render. Oh. Render means you've got like photo. You can make photo quality versions of the things you make. Alright, so it has a shadow. I can zoom in. I can zoom into my model. I can go to setup, scene settings. If I want, I can make it zoom right into the camera. Oh, that! I can zoom all the way out. I can change the background so that it's got a red background. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> right, uh, listen, listen, listen. Final thing you've got to do to make to uh, finish this: render, render. Oh, I should say. Flush. Uh, I should say this as well. If you if you go to save your thing, if you want to. If you've got a model here and you want to locate it, you've got to go File, Export. You export to wherever you want to save it to. So you can save it to your desktop. So that's how you save the actual file to a specific spot, okay? You do it the exact same way on Windows. All right, render, render. And then I might just go, I'm going to have a... 12,000 by 12,000 pixel picture because that's nice and high resolution. I don't want to use cloud render. I don't want to use cloud render because that means uh, I'll it takes longer. I want to use local renderer. And then I just click render. And that thinks, it thinks, it's processing. The little image is processing here. Oh, so it's coming. Oh, no, it's gonna look it normally good. takes a minute or two. This was pretty quick. This is, I bet, this is going to be a whoa. It's like, it's like when you send stuff on your phone, it goes real quick until the last final little bit. Or, or like making an, 
All right, and then when you click that, you can save your picture. Okay, that's how you save your picture. Save in whatever format you want to save it in. Well, well I don't know what to tell you. You probably could just screenshot it. Yeah. Yeah. Although, 